What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be on our main account, and we kind of have one goal kind of set up for us today, and that is actually regressing our Sword Flash, because as you guys know, for the longest time, Sword Flash was like the best hero to have on your account in the game, pretty much the master of all game modes, that has slowly changed to Mockman and Vulcan, those two heroes have kind of taken over the burst and damage roll meta, uh, and as in our situation, we have a level 120 tree, fully sublimed, we have a, a core that's the three times level, which I guess that still stats as a tenant for a homeowner, uh, but we're going to reallocate a lot of resources and we're actually going to be putting a lot more origin tree levels into our tenants for both Mockman and for our Vulcan because uh, we have had some huge upgrades this week uh, but I want to go through and show you guys what it's about because you might have a sword flash and really there's only one place that sword flash is still dominating and that is like Aspen Dungeon everywhere else you're seeing Mockman and now you're seeing a, a kind of big push of Vulcan users right now so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you're in a similar situation I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to do it there's multiple ways you can swap a hero regress a hero I'll show you guys what to do. Let's jump right into it. So here's what we're going to be doing, and here's the situation that our account is. Like we talked about in the intro, we pretty much have a fully invested sword flash which kind of feels bad because well we don't really use her whatsoever we even used our b plus uh from what was it black friday i think one of the things for high vip levels you could purchase a b plus stone uh it rolled decently uh sadly the attack wasn't up into the a's but uh it rolled decently and of course we are fully sublimed here and we have a core now one thing to note is the stats from a court do transfer over if she is a tenant for a householder, which is the case. If uh, we take a look at our Mockman here, uh, it does it does work out for us because we have the Sword Flash here, we have the Jara, we have a couple other supporters. So that is one thing right there. But the other thing that we did on this hero is we have level 120. Honestly, going from level 100 to 120 really isn't something most people should be doing because the amount of stats you gain per investment is just very bad. It takes so much spiritual essence and mainly so many stellar shards to get that far up. You're really hindering your progress in other locations and other heroes. So while we're still going to keep this sword flash, the other thing we're going to do is change the gear, I think, as well. We're going to swap this probably to a warrior set. Uh, we have a few things we need to do today, and uh, the first one, though, is talking about how we're going to take care of this hero. Now, first and foremost, I need to jump in here, and I just need to remove Sword Flash from, like, all the PvP modes that she might be registered in. Uh, I think we're good there. Okay, so how do you take care of this situation when you're in it? You have to go to the Evolution Cube, and you have to either do Replace or Regress. Uh, in our case, I'm just going to be regressing her and rebuilding her most likely. Uh, the only downside with that is when you do regress a hero, you're going to lose all of these stones you've rolled for. That's really bad. Uh, or actually, you're not, you're not even going to get the stats for the rerolls. You're going to get the 1,000 gems for each slot here, but you're only going to get the resources for one stone. So this could be really bad for us because uh, we really want this attack attack. If you do want to go the route of not losing it, what you can do is you can actually do a conversion of a hero. So what you have to do here is uh, you have to go into replace. You have to have another hero you're going to replace it to, which is interesting. So what you do is here, and then you're going to pick like uh, the sword flash where she, uh, she must be stuck somewhere. Oh, we have to also take her out of Cloud Island. There's a lot of check marks to be done here in order to do something with a hero. So I'll kind of show you guys one example. We're just going to remove her for the time being. We'll set her back in. Uh, I personally don't like regressing. I prefer uh, replacing. That does take, of course, soul symbols, which is the, the one thing here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make, let's just make like, uh, I guess like you. Uh, and what this is going to do is when we replace her to her, it's going to cost 10 soul symbols. So that's not too bad. That's not like a big deal. Uh, we're going to replace. And here's what's going to happen. This E5 is going to turn into an Eos. The Shia just becomes a regular Shia. You get all the food back. And most importantly, you get all of these resources back. So now what we can do is we can literally throw the Shia in here. And we can chuck that Eos we just made one more time. And we can do a replace here again. 
And now we're back to where we were before. So it costs 20 in total. We're back to having just the E5 here of EOS. But most importantly, we're saving all of this on the sword flash and then we can re-level her to the designated level we want in the meantime we have a ton of resources that we can reallocate and that's going to go to a couple different heroes so all you have to do now is of course come back in here you need to go through you need to get your imprints all the way done here uh just put like damage reduction on here oops i always forget to do this i wish there was a faster way to do this at this point but sadly it kind of is what it is right now uh sure these really don't matter on here we just want the nodes filled out nothing from those actually transfer over to the tenant spot so we'll just continue this get her back up to v4 and then we can reallocate her and re-put her in the right locations um so yeah we got that taken care of she's up to v4 we can also now do tree of origin which i do still want to take her up to the maximum 100 i don't want to bring her up to way up there i don't want to bring her all the way up to uh whatchamacallit 120 there it is uh because we do want the core still activated we still want to upgrade her for those raw stats here because we want to re-level her back up to level 400 i right, keep doing these upgrades it's a little tedious, especially uh, especially if you're doing this on more than one hero, but for the cost of 20 of them, it basically lets you reset all those resources. The only side thing is you have to have another hero that is transcendensable to make the swap. So, uh, or wait, no, we don't need to do this breakthrough, right? Wait, do we? Yeah, we do. We do? Yeah, we do. I was like, wait, does that make me 101? I forget. So that does that. And really, there's only two things I care about here because none of these actually give anything we're gonna do a little little science project here because all these things don't really matter at all uh what does matter potentially are these two nodes here because they have statistics with them uh so first things first let's go back to our main man here we're gonna put her on the property there we go just slap her back in there we will give her her levels as well so that she's leveled back up to 400 there we go uh, we're not going to do any extra upgrades, so we have all those resources back on our account as well. All these things are still the same, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. However, let's do some math here now because uh, I've been told different things here. So right now we are at 7971320. So that's 7.9 million attack on him. Now, what stats actually transfer over? Uh, well, number one, we can show you right off the bat, if we do remove this core here, his attack does go down. Before, we were at 7,971,000, or so that's number one test. Yes, the cores, we can confirm, do transfer stats over to the homeowner. Now, next up, I want to do this here. We're going to sublime here, and then we're going to sublime one more time. So what that does is it gives this node right here, giving attack and HP. Let's go over to Star Swordsman Mockman. Uh, so previously he was at 791320. You'll notice that does not transfer over. Uh, so just a quick test for those of you out there. Um, this is kind of like a quick note for us. These pure sublimations do not add statistics to your actual homeowner. Cores do. So that's the big difference. One does, one does not. Uh, so I, like technically I could go ahead and do this again if I want to get this sublimation back because of course it's not doing anything for us. Uh, for me personally, we're probably just going to leave them for right now because it doesn't change the values here whatsoever. It's still the same static number. Kind of, It's kind of useless. You don't have to worry about going for these two nodes if you're just trying to build the best homeowner tenant situation possible. Uh, the other thing is we'll probably swap this gear over to Mockman gear, just give him even more stats. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole process of how to swap a hero out, especially if you want to get these like like over here, all these X levels, get all these resources back. That's how you reset it. it costs about a 20 total of those soul symbols. And of course, you need to have another hero that can be turned into a transcendence. Hopefully it helps you guys out if you guys are in a very similar situation. I'll see you guys next time.